<laughs> I've just got my wisdom teeth out. Your what teeth? Does my, is my face swollen or not? No, not really. My, what teeth? My wisdom. <laughs> I just got my wisdom tooth out. She only did one. I actually need two of them taken out, but she only did one today, which is probably quite good because else I wouldn't be able to speak at all. I mean, that's a walk in three town trying to find funny words for me to say we were saying i sound like literally a three-year-old trying to say they're like t's and r's and d's okay i don't want to bite too much so i'm trying to not um over pronounce the word i can't drink anything through like a straw i can't chew on this side really for the next day so i'm gonna have to have like soft food and i have to just drink like really slowly there's a lot of spit right now sorry this is really a lot of information but there's a lot of spit right now <laughs> me and Nessa were trying to do Chloe Ting workouts this week and be really fit and healthy dentist said that I'm not allowed because anything that raises my blood pressure might affect the blood clot so I was like yeah so Nessa needs to be there for me to make sure that I'm okay so she can't do it it's a really, really sad situation, but I'm really gutted about it. It's a sad, sad situation. It's a sad, sad situation. Like, I'm really gutted about it, but I just can't do any exercise today, so shopping it is. We're gonna go to London, we're having a bestie day. There's Ness in the background. Trey's paying for the taxi. Go to some restaurants, have some drinks. I wanna do like arcade stuff. Baby girl, you're so fine. I can't get you off my mind. Ooh, girl, nah, nah. Ooh, girl, nah, nah. Baby girl, don't need to flex. There's the rhythm. Hi guys, good afternoon. I think it's afternoon now. Yes, it is. Um, I'm about to head to the Metro Centre. My friend Ness is with me, so we're going to go. We've got an event to go to by Rituals. So today they've invited me to go down because they've got a store opening in the Metro Centre, a brand new store. So if you live in Newcastle or Gateshead and you want to go and visit it, then it's in the Metro Centre. I will be showing you a little bit of what it looks like on here. This is my this is absolute nice. favorite. This very is the ritual of me. It does, does Ooh, it? Yeah. All the gold and the art. So this is your energizer fragrance. Energizing ritual. This is cedarwood and um, sweet orange. I just love the designs of like. Mm. They're so subtle. Oh. Just had a little walkthrough from oh, we just had a little walkthrough from one of the ladies. This is an air diffuser, but it's like a mist air diffuser. It's different from the ones that you typically see where the steam or whatever it is comes out the top. Instead, she said that it sucks air through here, and then I'm guessing at the back there's gonna be another hole. Yeah, and then it blows it all out of these vents back here. And you can like uh, tie it to your phone so you can control it with the app and stuff. So it's quite bougie. As a gift, that's really, really nice, but um, I mean, it is bougie, you can connect it to your phone and stuff and you can set the size of the room and whatever so it knows how much to use so it's not overpowering and you get it in all of the scents and they also have like a posh uh, scent as well which I'll show you in a second. She's brought us to like this hand bath area. Look how nice this sink is, by the way. Oh, look at this bougie vibe. So she's gonna let us try all of that hand creams, mousses, hand gels, scrubs, and stuff. Oh my god, why does it feel like this? <laughs> Honestly, oh my god, oh, shut it. Can you hear that? Oh my god. This is what? No, it's really cooling. Really, really cooling, but it feels. I, I don't know, I can't even explain it. Unreal. That is so weird, it's like it's it. cooking. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And what's that called? The crackling, crackling body moves. Wow, that's really fun. It's like a present for someone. Yeah. That's so different. So the other one that we have, I'm rubbish at this, so excuse me. But so you can make a little. 
Oh yeah, little oh, sewing oh, flowers. Oh. So I'm useless at it, but um, <gasps> that was a good one. That was. <laughs> oh wait, this is shower foam, isn't it? Oops. <laughs> I thought it was body foam. I'm actually about to head out and go to B&Q. Got a last minute project on our hands. I'm a little bit, I'm in an hour and about it. I actually don't know if it's gonna turn out how I am envisioning. I wanna like it. I've literally got three days to do it. And it's a bold color. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bold color. When I saw it, I was like, whoa, okay, okay. I've kind of racked my brains because it didn't come to me as naturally as maybe some other shades of colors would. Um, but I think I've got a plan. I think I've got a plan. I just need to see if I'm gonna be able to execute it. And I'm gonna be doing it in the ensuite. It's a room that's never been touched. It's Rob's bathroom. I was thinking just like my downstairs loo where it's bold, it's in your face. It's like a place you can be really playful with and kind of get creative with. I was thinking the ensuite, let's do something crazy in there too. So anyway, I've got a plan in mind, which involves going to b and and seeing if I can get some beaded panels. So that's what we're gonna do. But before that, I'm absolutely starving. One thing about going to bed really early and getting up really early is that I'm so much more hungry because usually I would snack till quite late. I think my last food that I had yesterday was like literally quarter past six. Usually I'd be snacking in front of the TV at like 8 p.m. watching a film or watching TV. We didn't do that. I'm actually starting a new training program tomorrow as well which i am nervous about but i am really excited for it to kick start and give me the push that i need to actually take care of my health do enjoy exercising when i get into it sorry rob is coming in interrupting me because i was rushing this morning i had a um towel on the door knocked opened the door i had a package i've been expecting a zara delivery so i literally just ripped it open and then pulled out this bag um, that he's just bought from supreme which is really nice carry all bag to be fair so I just like kind of put it back roughly and then put it outside his office door and then he was like you opened my package I was like I didn't mean to <laughs> I'm starting out by doing one PT session with this guy a week and then in between there are four group conditioning classes which are like kind of um PT classes but it's within a group so you do circuits and it's about 45 minutes I'm actually really excited but I'm actually really nervous too Good morning, how are we? I've actually been to the gym today already. Remember when I said that I had like a new PT? I think I told you that. Got a new PT, went to the first session this morning. I had the worst night's sleep ever last night. If you watch my Instagram stories, if you don't, why are you not following me? And why are you not watching my stories? You will have seen the huge beast of a spider that ended up in my room at two o'clock in the morning whilst I was watching Real Housewives of Atlanta and crawled its way down, hid for about five minutes whilst I desperately cried and begged for Rob to find it. Then crawled up this, this curtain right next to Rob, like the curtain's here, Rob's here. And I was like, ah! And he was just, he just jumped out of his skin, but he managed to catch it in a cup and he tossed it out the window. So I hope it hasn't come back into the house, but it was huge. Apparently it's this time of year is like mating season for the spiders, which I'm not happy about. If they want to mate, if they want to go out on the prowl, they can take their ass over to the Premier Inn and they can pay for a room because they don't pay rent in this house. So I don't know why they're coming up here, giving me heart palpitations. I'm ruining my night. I'm ruining my night's sleep. So I basically didn't sleep till about 4 a.m. because I was so scared that there were spiders in the room that it had babies, didn't sleep, woke up. And then I just went downstairs, made myself a cup of tea and stuff and some breakfast. I had some porridge before my training session at 10. I had it at half nine. Worst thing you can do. Worst thing you can do. Let me tell you now, if you're not a pro and you're not used to this lifestyle, don't do that. Don't do that. It was, it was coming up. It was coming up. I was doing burpees. I was doing press ups, all the things. And I just halfway through the session and I felt like such an idiot because it was my first time with a PT. And I was like, you know, I was trying to show up. I was like, yeah, I can do this. 
You can see these. I can do press ups. Yeah, I can do proper press ups. Then I made a fool myself because I'd eaten too much and I drank too much water. So the porridge was stuck here, the water was stuck here, nothing had digested, nothing had gone down. So every time that I was going down and doing all these things, it just was coming up and I just felt. I didn't feel good but yeah anyway we got to the end I know that I'm like making a laugh and joking about it but I'm actually really happy that I managed to do that even though I'm so tired because I've worked out I feel like all my like blood circulating and I'm just like you know I've got energy and stuff so that's the main thing is like my mental and my physical like motivation and energy that's what I'm really trying to keep up I'm actually going to look into getting some vitamins as well I'm going to google what is good for me how I feel what I think supplements I can take so that I can really feel my best I really want to take care of myself from now and I don't know why it's all clicked all of a sudden but it has so I'm grateful for it and we're going with it baby so but anyway I'm going to go get changed and I'm going to go show you I think I showed you yesterday we Got the boards for the bathroom makeover rob has kindly emptied it all out for me and he has actually been a star this morning and i said to him uh, he, he just saw how tired i was from the gym i said to him oh i need to do all of this stuff so he's actually taken apart the toilet for me he's drained the whole system so he's drained the system there's no water in there he's uh, taken the the what are these called screws out of the wall so that i can actually pull it away from the wall a bit and slide that um panel behind which is fantastic it means that i don't have to do too many awkward cuts also taking the screws out the back of the sink and he's cut along here with a stanley so that the sink actually moves out and i can once once i get these tiles out of the way i don't actually think i'll have to move it much but i'll be able to slip the next board down as well so making good progress i haven't even done any of it yet so thank you rob for doing that for me i really appreciate it when he's able to help me with little bits like that because do you know what it is and I know you'll feel like this as well sometimes projects seem really daunting because you're like I haven't done this before and I don't know where to start and I don't want to make any wrong turns research and preparing stuff that always helps trust me that's a really big question that I always get like research 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 is your bestest bestest friend and watching videos and watching people do it however then doing it yourself or even psyching yourself up to go and research and do that stuff can be very daunting and it puts you off and it makes you lose time and stuff and then when you do the, the thing you're like actually it really was easy and it wasn't that big of a deal rob took that pressure off me today so now all i need to do is just figure out the measurements of the cuts stick all of the panels to the wall i've also bought those tiles which i'm thinking if i've got time tonight i will stick because i don't think they're going to take long i think they'll take me a few hours i'll just sit with a podcast on or some youtube and i'll just get the floor done and then tomorrow i will start painting and then um, adding accessories and stuff. And I'm hoping that it's not going to be too bad. But do you know what it is? First off, I need to just crack on into it. So I'm going to get changed and we're going to make a start. Morning, guys. So it's a day two of the ensuite makeover. I've just showered and I am going to head to Wix now to pick up some bits to help kind of finish the process off. It went well yesterday. It took a lot longer than I expected. Um, and because I had to cut everything myself, and I was going up and down the stairs and stuff, it took like double the time. If you've got someone to help you as well, having double the eyes on it and like just double the help will make it even quicker. Today, Rob is actually here to help me. He's currently filling in the holes with wood filler. And then I'm gonna pop to Wix, return the extra board, pick up a new top cap for it, attach it. And then I'm gonna prime all of the MDF and the wood cap. And then I'm gonna lift up the floor and start putting down the new floor tiles. Um, just a little tip. So a lot of you say like, how are you motivated to do DIY and stuff? And it's not always the case. I'm not always motivated. I don't just wake up every single morning. And I'm like, I wanna DIY today. Or like, I have all the energy like I think I spoke about this yesterday I think I spoke about this yesterday how like I'm trying to take better care of my physical health and I think it's going to reflect in my motivation and like ability to do things but yeah it's not always the case but when I do I make sure I get up I'm showered I make myself feel somewhat put together so like I might brush through my eyebrows and put a little bit of eyebrow product on I might spritz um, some perfume I've been doing this a lot recently like even if I'm just in the house and I'm not going anywhere putting perfume on makes you feel just put together like it really does like it just makes you feel cute and you feel like okay i smell cute i look cute all of that stuff this is just one of those um fm perfumes i think it was meant to be black opium i don't think it smells like black opium it's number 366 it's still quite nice but i don't really think it smells like black opium to be honest but yeah just something to make myself feel better and then i'll kind of like brush through my brows usually i do a bit more of my hair but it's got sand it's got sand dust in it and it needs a wash desperately i'm actually going to put this headband on today because my hair is very 
not cute. <laughs> that is the one thing I know I say I get ready to some degree but doing my hair is just not one of them when it comes to DIY because I'm always cutting stuff and there's always sawdust everywhere don't ever put like products on that's gonna help the, the sawdust and stuff to stick so I usually pick up these headbands because a they're great for when I haven't done my hair in general and I've got like somewhere to be whether it's just seeing friends or going to an event or something this one's from Zara very cute it was only £10 I adore it it's really good for like when I'm filming especially because I just I always think you guys must think I never do my hair you must look at me and just be like, shall I again? I don't even know if you've ever seen my hair down. Oh, actually, speaking of that, I am going to be going to a Afro hair specialist soon. I've got one booked in London. It's with Curl Talk. So on Instagram, they're called curl.talk. And that's where I bought my huge bonnet from, which I sleep in, which is fantastic. So I Googled, there must be one in London by now. So I Googled and I found one called curl.talk. And I see a lot of curly head, um, like stars go there and um, just general people. So I was like, okay, I'm going to book in. And actually I can tell that they probably do really well because they have to release their dates by a month in advance. So on the 1st of August I think it was I was able to book in for September so I've got an appointment in London at the end of September but I know September is gonna be so busy for me I don't think I'm gonna be able to go so I then googled is there one in Newcastle but I did find one and she's called Ruth I think she's called hair by Ruth or something like that so I think I'm gonna try and book in with her instead because it'd be so much easier for me to just stay in Newcastle just in case you guys are wondering because I know a lot of curly haired people follow me or if you've got children I think often get a lot of um especially white mums message me and say my daughter's hair is just like yours and I don't what to do with it or like I've tried these products and they don't work and stuff I really should make a highlight on my Instagram some of you have asked me to make videos on here before so I might do like in a vlog one time let me know if you want me to do that good morning oh no I've let this leak all over the bed again this happened the other day oh the other day I sat on the bed and it was absolutely soaked and it's because I keep leaving my water bottle to leak I am on the way to my gym session I don't feel good. This is as much motion as I've got. Ah, it's very tight. And then above my head. Ah, it's very tight. <laughs> Feeling very, very, very tight because I did a lot of exercise the other day when I haven't done a lot in ages. I think I've been through this with you like three times. This is my fourth time now complaining about it. But I'm going to go to the gym. Maybe one day I'll bring you in and you can see what sort of exercises we do. Bathroom. Oh my God, I haven't shown you the tiles. Let me show you. I managed to finish these pretty pretty late last night not too late but pretty late looks like this i'm actually really happy with them sorry if you can hear my stomach grumbling rumbling grumbling growling very happy with them they have got a little bit of um glue on from the extra glue i use so i need to use some of the pink stuff to kind of lift all that excess glue off but it does work i was using it yesterday thank goodness because i was getting a little bit worried got some places where like my black um jogging bottoms were sticking to it and all the fluff was getting on it so it looks a bit a bit gross but then today i need to paint all of this which shouldn't take me too long fingers crossed and then i'm going to start to install accessories so i've got like a big mirror here a towel rail there i need to get a toilet roll rail actually thinking about it i've got a bath board to go there and then I also wanted to do, I've got a nice mirror to go in the middle, but I kind of wanted to have two like gold pendant lights. I think with the colour scheme that I'm going for, gold will really make it pop and make it look a little bit more expensive. So I am worried about the colour that I've got. Like I'm really trying to push myself. I really, really am. And also make a room that's really like nice and bright in the morning for Rob to get ready because he comes in here. I mean, he's a, he's a very simple guy. He doesn't really care, honestly. But like, I think it really does help when your home decor and interior around you subliminally um, affects your mood. So having like really nice bright colours and a really nice place to get ready should make him really happy during the day so yeah that's what i do so i'm about to go to my session now because i'm going to be late it's not me being procrastinating and vlogging instead of just going to my session and then when i come back we will crack on actually i also need to go to bnq to try and find some more lights so i might do that in between hey gorgeous i am a broken woman might i add now not only my arms hurt my legs are going to be jelly in the morning having to go to the gym working out it like People say that, don't they? It, like, gets your, is it endorphins going? And I just feel like, I just feel so full of energy, even though I'm shattered. <laughs> so after the gym, I went to do a food shop. I want to make sure that in keeping with going to the gym, I'm eating healthily and I'm eating full stop because I don't tend to eat very, like, well. Sometimes I miss meals. Like, I just want to make sure that I've always got something to eat. And I also think I'm going to do a bit of a meal prep tonight so that for the rest of the week, I have just containers of food in the fridge where I can just grab them because that's one thing about me. If I am feeling lazy one day and I don't want to make a meal, you know that I'm going to snack on four. Four out of the six pack of multi-crisps 
and a share bar of chocolate and that's not healthy it's not what i'm trying to promote i just bought loads of good stuff but good tasty stuff so like me personally i love salmon so let's do a little food haul actually i haven't done that one in a while have we i got the toasty style i used to get this a lot and i really appreciate just like the cute smallness of the toast and it goes really well for breakfast like avocado and toast and salmon and stuff bagels rob's a big fan of bagels and um these are also really good for if i want a quick snack big fans of crumpets every so often for breakfast this is for lunches um i got some soft pit of bread because i usually have some sort of chicken with salad um in a pit of bread for lunch and that does me got some cooked beetroot my gosh if you don't like beetroot i used to be you get this stuff this stuff tastes phenomenal bananas i also got these these are new in aldi and they look amazing so they're called uh specially selected rich and intense tomato and olive stir through sauces so if you're making like a pasta and you add like your kind of vegetables and meat and then you stir through this baby plum tomatoes blueberries and some raspberries perfect for snacks slash breakfast i've got some yogurt i've got the high in protein stuff because i'm trying to get my protein up instead of picking up like bars of chocolate even though these are the same calories they've got higher protein so they make you feel fuller and they're better for you if that makes sense so i've never seen these before they also say i'm new on the packaging actually and they are some like they're rip-offs of the um grenade bars which i did used to buy a lot of and they really do make you feel full should we do a little taste test right. in some salads mange toots broccoli as well and then i've got some basmati rice because um i'm feeling like this week's going to be a lot of like rice meals i just I fancy rice i've not had it in a long time and then i've got rob some sweets because he actually can't survive without sweets these are like on the go snacks slash breakfast peach and passion fruit which sounds amazing raspberry and strawberry got rob some cheese i've got some smoked salmon for breakfast so if i'm having like breakfast bagels four packets of salmon because i just love salmon oh guys if you haven't been to aldi to this section where you can get the sweet potato pakoras they're amazing for an evening like i don't tend to buy pre-marinated chickens because they tend to be a lot more expensive and i can do it myself but sometimes if i've had a busy day and i'm just like oh i just want something tasty and i don't want to have to put loads of effort into it i buy stuff like that so that i have something like a cheap meal almost turkey mince the olive selection as i said i love olives so i've got, bought two of them they don't go off till october it's currently first of september 30th of august so i've got ages so i can keep them in the fridge yeah that was my food haul so nothing crazy at all I try to keep it low on the snacks try to keep it high on the vegetables and the good food what am i doing now so now i'm gonna go upstairs and shower and then i'm gonna go to the ensuite and we're gonna start painting the ensuite but do you know what i think i might have to leave it here for this vlog because it's a while until i can reveal it and i'm hoping to get this vlog out a little bit earlier for you guys so i do want to leave it as a little bit of like a surprise and suspense kind of so check over my instagram because it's most likely that you'll see the reveal of the ensuite over there first before the next vlog comes out so go and follow me go and follow me go follow me on tiktok too make sure you're subscribed here so that you see the full makeover because i end up i have filmed it but yeah make sure you go follow me everywhere and show me some love if you want to and um yeah that's it for today's video i love you so much thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next one take care guys bye